Hello guys, let's draw another liquid transition today. Let's go. The transition will consist of five lines, so first we need to draw the paths. I make waves in my lines, but you can experiment. It's better to make the lines at a more or less equal distance from each other. Now let's go to layers and apply transparency to this layer. In settings, I turn on animation assist. We tap on the first frame and set it as the background. The base is ready. Now let's create a new frame. Choose a color for the lines. Right now, I am going to draw the first line. For that, I draw a circle. Its size will be the width of the line. To make it perfect, hold down your pencil for a second and tap your finger on the screen. I duplicate our circle and move the first layer to the very beginning of the line, which will be the appearance. By the way, you cannot draw a circle outside the canvas because everything outside the canvas will be cut off. So now I also duplicate the full circle and move the lower layer. For the appearance of the lines, I will make a slower speed so there should be more frames here. Let's move on. Closer to the center, the speed will be faster, so we need to make fewer frames. And at the end, we also add more frames to slow down. First preview. It looks good, so let's move on to drawing the body of the line. At the same time, I add a tail to this layer. For now, it goes beyond the edge of the screen. The thickness of the line will be the same everywhere. So when the beginning of the line is already approaching the end, it's time to detach the tail from the left border. For this, I use transparent frames from the initial surface. When the beginning of the line has already gone beyond the borders, we draw frames with the end of the line. Let's look at the preview. The first line is ready. Now, following the same principle, we need to create four more such ones. To conveniently duplicate the circle for another line, it needs to be on a separate layer. For this, we will have to group them on the layers panel with the first frame, so they are one frame. The principle of creation is exactly the same. First, we make a slow appearance, and in the center, acceleration. The first frame of the second line can start later so that they do not appear simultaneously. So, preview. And we proceed to refining the body of the line. I made this line a little thicker so that they touch more. preview. The third line is quite small. I also decided to make it a bit thicker. We move on to the fourth line. Preview. It already looks more cheerful. Guys, there is only one last fifth line left. It turned out to be half cut off. We look at the preview of all five lines. I think it looks good. But what do you think? Now let's move on. I set onion skin frames to zero in settings so that neighboring frames don't interfere. Our task is to combine our lines into one shape. To make this easier, I merge the groups into one layer using the flatten function. So I 
select a frame somewhere in the middle and start rounding the places where the lines connect. Now we can switch onion skin frames to one to see only the previous and next frame. Based on this, we need to complete all other frames. Preview. I don't really like the line splitting effect at the end, but to fix it, I decided to first add a fill to our shape with lines. To quickly fill a frame, after filling one area, you can press continue filling at the top of the screen and then simply tap to fill the rest of the parts. To move to the next frame, press the check mark at the top. So, as I thought, the splitting effect turned out to be too rough, so I redraw it. I try to thicken all areas with splitting. We preview the animation. It looks better now. Now I slightly adjust the shape of the lines so that they are as straight and smooth as possible. So, now my favourite part is adding splashes. I add drops that follow the lines. The principle is that first, the drop is large and moves fast, and then it decreases and slows down. Also, one drop can split into several. Especially good splashes look in places where the lines turn. Let's speed up. So, let's see what we got. The last part is adding cutouts on the shape. In places where the lines connect, I erase points similar to drops. Well, I made some more corrections to the drops and added a fill to the background to enhance the transition effect. How do you like today's animation? Let me know if you found it interesting or useful. Thank you and see you in the next video.